Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is our eighth lab, and uh, in this lab, uh, we will study about performing the radiometric correction in Erdos imaging. Uh, first of all, we will see that why radiometric correction is needed, and the type if we have bad pixels or bad lines in an image, how to remove them by using focal analysis, and then we will be performing topographic correction, and then we'll be finally concluding our lab. So the first thing uh, why we need radiometric correction uh, usually when a satellite captures an image so there are three major sources of error one is due to the sensor calibration due to the sensitivity of de de detectors and vignetting effect that is uh, due to the uh, due to the boundary of the lens then the second reason is that we have the sun angle or the surface slope they usually cause problem for example if you have a hilly area uh, one side that is sunlit side and the other side that is shadowed side although the trees they may be present on a hilly area on the sunlit side as well as the shadowed side but there will be some difference right and the third thing that is the atmospheric correction due to the atmosphere when the light uh, is either absorbed or either it is scattered so these are the major sources of error now there uh, in some cases we have bad pixels or bad lines uh, in our lab 6 we have covered in detail we have a bad lines in an image uh, and we remove that uh, those bad line by using the focal analysis tool so for section 2 and section 3 you can uh, revise the last portion of the lab 6 right now in today's lab we will be focusing only on topographic correction right in edas imagine start your software and open some image for example i have this image of uh, islamabad pakistan now go to the multispectral section change the band combination okay here on margala hills we have trees or forest right now if you notice it that let's zoom to this section and see that the same feature it will have a different response on the shadowed side and a different response on the sunlit side so this type of error that is topographic uh, error and uh, it can be improved by performing the topographic correction so we will be performing the topographic correction now once I zoomed into some hilly area uh, I noticed that due to uh, the sunlight and the shadowed side due to the topography the DN values are different right for example if I am selecting this part here so uh, I noticed the value of layer 4 and 3 right that is 81 by 30 and similarly I noted something over here it is about 6222 so uh, the way to solve this issue is to generate the ratios right uh, the ratio between uh, bands uh, they will be uh, accurate to analyze this thing right so in order to generate the ratio what we have to do is to go to uh, toolbox model maker again once the model maker is opened we will generate the ratios the ratio image that will be useful for eliminating this difference just input your uh, raster like in the last Redos lab we, uh, model maker lab we have used these tool just connect them now what you have to do is to input your study area image which is of Islamabad I am declaring it as float click ok now I have to generate some ratio over here band 4 divided by band 3 now this ratio will be uh, image will be accurate now the question arises why I have divided fourth with the third one so uh, the answer is that in NIR it has the maximum reflectance and red minimum reflectance so for this per, uh, object or this feature vegetation or forest these two bands were suitable uh, you will learn later that uh, what is the 
uh, spectral response of each feature let's rename it as ratio image and click ok declare it as float click ok once all this process is completed you just have to execute it okay now uh, the feature we were analyzing earlier and uh, let's check the values now in layer 4 50 in layer 3 18 and just zoom around so there is a major difference right so 64 19 now if I uncheck this layer and check this one uh, RVIE so I can see that uh, let's click this here here 3.3 here 3.3 3.3 2.7 so this ratio in this uh, here it is 1.9 let's 3.5 right so uh, this ratio has uh, enhanced the error uh, enhanced the accuracy and reduced that error uh, that the sunlight and the shadowed side they were uh, uh, showing a different response for the same feature uh, let's now uh, add a view and add our stacked imagery here and just link your views Okay, let's now zoom to this part. Where the cursor is. Right. Now, you can see that uh, let's change the combination of this layer as well now we can move on from here right here we can notice these values 38 and 16 now let's move the curse uh, 38 16 okay 54 18 for instance and here we have here it is value of 3 let's move to this location here we have 87 and 21 and let's see what values we have over here here we have 4 so one difference that is more, uh, much more better than the other image here it is 4.3 right so in this way you can interpret your image by moving across various areas and noticing the values so this is a way to minimize the sunlight and the shadow effect to uh, if it is not even 100% correct uh, you may uh, get a few de decimals error right so uh, this is all about the topographic correction and for focal analysis or the bad line removal uh, please uh, follow the lab 6 that will be uh, effective to solve the bad line problem